Well, good evening everyone who's joined me so far. A few more coming in. Lovely to see you all. Nice to see you Matt. Hope everyone's doing well even though the weather's filthy outside. That sounds like the song, start of a Christmas song. Just give it a couple more minutes before making a start. Sorry, I've just got these new reading glasses so I have to keep looking over at the time over there. <laughs> Hope there's no problems with connection, you can all hear me nice and clear. We've gone up and now we've gone down. I'm a little disconcerted. I don't know whether people have seen me and decided to go and do something else or what. <laughs> Happy Christmas to you, Matt, as well. Okay, it's 7.30, I'll make a, um, a beginning. It's um, lovely to see you all. It's Friday the 18th of December, and my name's Tim Beaumont, and I'm leading the prayer time tonight for Frontline. Um, I was thinking about leading tonight, and I just thought the best thing to do is just share from where I've been up to over the last few days. Now, obviously, we've been in lockdown for nine months, and there's been an up and down ride, and for some of us, we've had good days, and... Some of us have had bad days. Um, so I just thought um, that I would share with you a psalm that really reached out to me when I was having one of my bad days during lockdown, when I was feeling a bit fed up. And it's Psalm 142. Um, one of the great things actually about joining the prayer times is just finding out different people's approach to prayer and different scriptures that have really spoken to, to people. And this is just a, a scripture that really spoke to me. And what we're going to do is we're going to pray through that, that scripture. I'll just read it out to start with. Psalm 142. I cry aloud to the Lord. I lift up my voice to the Lord for mercy. I pour out my complaint before him. Before him I tell my trouble. When my spirit grows faint within me, it is you who know my way. In the path where I walk, men have hidden a snare for me. Look to my right and see, no one is concerned for me, I have no refuge, no one cares for my life. I cry to you, O Lord, I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry, for I'm, desperate, I'm in desperate need. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are too strong for me. Set me free from my prison, that I may praise your name. Then the righteous will gather about me because of your goodness to me. I would like to start by just praying, you know, those honest prayers that we have when things are tough. We feel almost guilty sometimes praying these things because we know that there are billions of people in the world in a much worse situation than us. The amazing thing about God is that he doesn't do a kind of rating. He doesn't do means tested prayer. If you are feeling it, he wants to know about it. So, Lord, I thank you that that is who you are. I thank you that your nature and your personality is that you care about what we are feeling and that there is no ranking, there's no people who are at the front of the queue or at the back of the queue. You are listening to us all, you are caring about us all. And I thank you so much that you are concerned about what concerns us, no matter how trivial it may seem to us or how trivial it may seem in the scheme of the world. You care about what we care about. I thank you, Lord, that we have space before you to pour out our complaint, that where there are things that we are frustrated and annoyed about, you are willing to listen, you are willing to act. And I thank you so much that that is who you are. That is the nature of your personality. I thank you, Lord, also that when our spirit grows faint, you want to come and strengthen us because it is you who knows our way. In the path 
Where I walk, we feel that there are traps. There are things laid out before them, before us. But I thank you, God, that you know our way and you know the way in which you walk, in which we walk. When we feel like nobody's concerned about us, when we feel that we are being ignored or overlooked, I thank you that your eyes are upon us and that you care for us. And Lord, you are our refuge. You are our portion in the land of the living. And I thank you for that. So, Lord, I just want to pray tonight for everybody who feels just like that, who feels that their spirit has grown faint within them, who feels that nobody is concerned about them. I pray, Lord, that you would be their refuge and their portion. For those who are despairing, those who are feeling alone, I pray that you would be their refuge and portion. For those who feel that they've been ignored, for those who feel like the future is frightening, you would be their refuge and portion. For those who feel like it is too late, that things have gone too far, I pray that you would be their refuge and portion in the land of the living. Lord, I pray that for those who are desperate, those who are in desperate need, who feel like they need rescuing, I pray, God, you would hear their cry. Whether it is a situation to do with sickness, whether it is a situation to do with relationships, or a situation to do with uh, financial provision, or a situation to do with just emotional well-being, I pray that you would listen to their cry. You would listen to those who are in desperate, desperate need and that you would lift them. You would lift them up because, Lord, we, we know that we all face situations and circumstances that are too strong for us. There are things which we look at, situations, problems, things in the news, things in our life, things in our families that just seem insurmountable, that it is difficult for us to understand a way through. But I thank you, Lord, that you want to listen to our cries when we're in those desperate need, when we feel overwhelmed by things that are too strong for us, you are willing to meet with us. And I really pray tonight, Lord, for those who are feeling like they are overwhelmed, that there is a sense of being overwhelmed, or for those we know, our friends, who feel like they're overwhelmed, I really want to pray that you would be their portion in the land of the living. You know, I think of the people I work with and the things that they've gone through this year. I think of people that I know in my street and in my family and the things they've gone through this year and the things they're living with, I pray that you would be their portion in the land of the living. Lord, I pray for those who feel like they're in a situation that is like a prison, that they would be set free from that prison. For those in our lives, those we care about, who feel that they have been completely trapped, they are shackled, they're in a situation that they cannot get out of, Lord, I pray that they may be set free from their prison, whether it is a prison that has been constructed of circumstances or health. Lord, let your freedom come. Lord, I really thank you for these last verses of Psalm 142. I thank you that you say, then the righteous will gather about me because of your goodness to me. And I thank you that for those of us who go through times like that, when we see the other side of it, there is a sense that we gather together and we celebrate together. We gather together because of your goodness to us. We celebrate the goodness that we see in other people's lives. When someone we know has had a prayer answered, we celebrate that goodness. And I just look forward to all those circumstance situations we've just prayed about becoming an opportunity for celebration, an opportunity where we can gather together around the people who know that they've been set free, who've experienced release, who've experienced your goodness. I just look forward to that opportunity to celebrate with those people. And Lord, I do just want to thank you once again that when our spirit grows faint within us, it is you who knows our way. I thank you so much that you will be our refuge and portion in the land of the living. OK, um, just also it just really felt that that was a prayer for tonight for us. And it's a great psalm to pray. Um, one of the things I always like about listening to different people leading prayer is you get a little window into their lives. You get a little window into what matters to them. Now, obviously, for me, um, uh, we've got children and it's the last day of term. So from my perspective in my life, the last day of term, I'm just really thinking about all those teachers, all those school support staff and all those children who have just had a really weird term in and out of lockdown, not quite knowing whether half the class is going to be in or half the class is going to be at home receiving online lessons. I just think let's finish by just praying for everybody who is involved in schools finishing either yesterday or today. So, Lord, I just want to pray for all the teachers. I pray for the 
uh, all the support staff, the classroom assistants, the um, well-being assistants, the SEN assistants, the lunchtime supervisors, the playground supervisors, the crossing patrols, all of those people who are associated with our schools in our city. Let your blessing rest upon them for the next two weeks. I pray that each teacher, each head teacher, each member of a school team, I pray your blessing over them for rest and for peace, for a sense of quietness, a sense of recharging. I pray that there will be health. I pray that there'll be a chance to um, decompress. And I just pray that these teachers and these staff, including some of those who are in our church community, would just really know your blessing and your abundance over this Christmas. Christmas in itself can be stressful, and I pray for these staff that it would be a real time of peace. Lord, I thank you that when you came, you brought peace. And I just want to pray, Lord, that our school staff and our school um, members would just know your peace. And also, I pray for all the children, uh, all the schools in Liverpool. Let them know a two weeks just of rest and peace as well. That this holiday would be a holiday that is not just the excitement of Christmas, but would also bring the peace of Christmas. The angels proclaimed glory in God on the highest and peace to all men on earth. And I pray that peace to men on earth would be true for our children and for our, um, uh, for our staff uh, over, over Christmas. OK, well, Lord, I just want to finish off by just praying a blessing over us for this week. Um, and thank you that we move into a new season. And I pray that as we run up into Christmas, Lord, that you would strengthen us and keep us uh, safe in your hands and, and keep us aware of your hand over us, whatever we may be doing and whoever we um, may find ourselves encountering. Lord, I just pray that the Christmas time would be something where we can spread your peace and justice to those around us. Lord. Amen. OK, really lovely just to pray with you uh, tonight and. Um, I uh, just pray that you'll have a fantastic rest of the evening. I'm off to watch the latest episode of The Mandalorian. So see you all soon.